I look like this fuse and see what happens. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know what the fuck kind of music that was that they introduced me to. I was uh, I asked it was like gangster rap. And I guess Ice Ice Baby was not on the list. <laughs> So, you know, I love rap music, you know, back then in the day, you know, being immature, not being, you know, old like I am now, rap music was like awesome. And I'm a little bit older, I know a little bit more, and I listen to a song that I used to listen to, and it just, it blows my mind. Jay-Z, who knows Jay-Z, we all know Jay-Z. If you have, if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, <laughs> I have 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Okay. Bear with me for a second. Let's dissect that. <laughs> you can ask any man in this room. Even if he has two problems, I guarantee you one of them has to be a female. And then on top of that, 99 problems? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had problems. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see. Get a job. No money, bad credit, I'm married. <laughs> That's four problems. And even one of them still involves a female. Fuck. <laughs> you know, you, you should have thought about it. I should have been like, you know, to like keep my image intact, I'm gonna really revamp how my course goes. If you're having real problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 bitches ain't a problem with one hit me. <laughs> Except for one. This is my impression of a pedophile. <laughs> no, actually, I'd make a pretty shitty pedophile. I, mean, I, I just, I fucking hate kids. I hate them. <laughs> Scream and give you lame excuses like no means no. I know, I don't have any kids, you know. Can I give a round of applause for people here that do have kids? Though? Yeah! There's a couple people here that are clapping, like, I don't want that motherfucker to know I have kids. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't have any kids, you know, uh, my wife and I would try to get pregnant, no matter how hard I try to, just can't get the bitch pregnant. <laughs> yes. so, uh, I thought there was something wrong, you know, so we go to the doctor, and the doctor's like, Mr. Reinhardt, how often do you guys have vaginal intercourse? Vaginal? <laughs> <laughs> It just felt so damn good. It was like comfortable. It felt great. Thank God this is stand up comedy though, because it still hurts when I sit. But you know, we have been trying to get back on the to be honest, and uh, I'm a little scared about it, you know? I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not like afraid of raising a child, you know, my future date. Oh, 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 oh just wait. Oh. No, I'm just, you know, I'm afraid of, you know, the mood swings that my wife's going to have. Those late night cravings. You know, any guy that has dealt with a woman that's pregnant, she always wants two fucking things that don't go together. <laughs> Alright? Hey baby, can you give us a fried chicken and some chocolate syrup? <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's fine. If my wife gets pregnant, I will get her two things that don't go together. Chloroform and water hanger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, guys. I don't want people to 
short and sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you.